new living wage, which was just announced on the 2nd of May, is £8.30 an hour. There's a living wage set for outside of London, which is £7.20. This has been calculated by the Minimum Income Standard Project. Obviously, there's a moral issue. Um, are you really prepared to pay people that are, because of the amount you pay them, struggling to support their families? Um, but there also is a lot of evidence that it makes good business sense, that people who are paid an adequate wage are able to uh, put more energy into their job. They're not necessarily having to do two and three jobs. Uh, they also are more productive. They tend to have lower turnover, higher, uh, lower absentee rates, and just be more content and uh, loyal workers. The Christian vision of creation is that it's given to us so that we can be in right relationship with one another. And fair pay, the living wage, is about everyone playing a full part in society, about parents in particular not having to choose between having enough money for their children and enough time for them. The living wage enables people to earn enough money to live on uh, without having to do two or three jobs and have enough time to spend with their families. And um, surely God who made us all would like that to be the case. Um, the, the living wage is such a, a practical way that we as Christians and that we as, as a church, as the body of Christ, can, um, can really put some of that stuff into practice. You know, I think sometimes we talk about you know, the um, freedom of the, uh, from, from oppression or you know, we talk about um, setting captives free and it, it's all very metaphorical. In, in my parish, in my neighbourhood, how many people go to that church every Sunday or once a month or at Christmas and Easter and how many of those people um, are paid the living wage or know someone who is not paid the living wage? You can pay the living wage that we worked with lots of churches and we worked with lots of charities and with good intentions even if you think that your organisation doesn't have the money. Ask someone, try to get, try to get and uh, get some help and you might just be able to pay it and it will make your organisation work a lot more efficiently. Two of the most distinctive things Christians believe are that God has become flesh and that God is relationship. And at the heart of the Living Wage campaign are these two insights. That if we truly follow God and we truly believe that people are, are made in the image of God, there is only one sensible way forward, which is to treat them as if they are made in the image of God, which is to pay them the living wage.